Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, it's books. Anytime we talk about books or music, those are my favorite subjects. But I want to talk to you about a fun tradition that we had in our family, and that was I loved picking out books that had anything to do with food, because then I was able to make it a multi-level experience, and we were able to bring in food and talk about food and make food and, you know, combine food for a, and do a lot of fun things with food. So let me tell you about one of the books. I have a blog about this that you can uh, go to on my website. In fact, I have two blogs on combining food with fun with your kids. But let me tell you about one. Um, if you're having problems getting your kids to eat vegetables, as we were having, I decided to go out and get stone soup. And I'm sure that most of you are familiar with this book. It's by Marsha Brown. And it's about these soldiers that are coming into a village. And the problem with the villagers are they see them coming from afar and they're afraid that they're going to have to share some of their food and whatnot, so they hide it. So when the, vill when the um, soldiers come in and they're tired and they're hungry, the villagers are saying, you know, they don't have anything either. But the soldiers outwit the villagers, and the, they tell the villagers that they're going to make a soup out of stones. I think most of you have read this book, so you know that they put in a huge big pot in the middle of the village, and they fill it with water, and they put in stones, and then they say to the villagers, oh, it would taste so much better if we had a cabbage, or it would taste so much better if we had some peppers, or if we had some potatoes, or whatever it was. And one by one, the villagers came in, and lo and behold, they... They found the, f the food and so forth in their cellars. And at the end of the book, they have this wonderful, incredible soup. And it's all about sharing and it's all about giving. So here's a couple of ideas that we did. Okay, I read the book to the boys and then we went to the grocery store and I told them, I said, okay, I want you to pick out two to three different vegetables that you really like and we're gonna go home, we're gonna make stone soup for our family for tonight's dinner. So they got to pick out their two to three vegetables, they took it home, they helped me in the kitchen, we planned, prepared, we cut, we diced, we did everything that needed to be done for the stone soup. So that was one idea and that was a lot of fun. And then we talked about the importance of vegetables and how vegetables help to build our bodies, how their um, fruits cleanse, but vegetables build. We also talked about how vegetables help us, they make us smarter. There's a lot of different studies out there now that just show that a heavy diet of vegetables each day actually improves cognitive function or how we learn and how we think. We talked about all different things that are important that we eat vegetables. They provide fiber and they ward off different forms of cancer and they help us in our, in our bowel system, in our digestive system and how important they are. So it becomes a multifaceted experience. You're reading the story, they're getting the vegetables, they're making the soup, they have to measure, they have to dice, they have to do all of those things. Plus that you're talking about the importance of vegetables. Another thing that we did was we explained to the boys that we wanted to grow a garden. And the things that we were growing in the garden, we were eventually going to make things out of the things that we grew. So the boys got to help pick all of the different fruits and vegetables that we were going to grow in the garden. They helped to weed and to plant and to water and to harvest. And then again, we made soups, we made salads, we made all different kinds of things. But they learned about the whole thing about you, you reap what you sow and what you're planting, you're able to, to reap the benefits of that. So they enjoyed that as well. Now, <clears throat> one thing too about this story is about not being selfish, it's about sharing. So what you wanna do is you wanna share. You can take this one step further and you can make enough soup so that you can invite a neighborhood family to join in with you. Maybe one of your kids' friends or something to join in with you. Or you can make enough to take over to somebody who's a shut-in or somebody who, someone who doesn't have a family. But think about different ways that you can also bring back the idea and to teach them the lesson, the importance of sharing and the importance of giving. So as you can see from one little book, you're teaching them a lot of different things. You're teaching them about um, vegetables, the importance of vegetables. You're teaching about cooking and baking, the importance of measuring, the importance of doing all of those things. You're teaching them the importance of why vegetables are important. And you're teaching about sharing and giving. A lot is packed in and uh, into one thing. Now let me leave you with this thought. It's by, it's actually from the book by uh, Stone Soup by Marsha Brown. A rich man's soup and all from a few stones. It seemed like magic.
Once again, you can find more about this and other books and other stories that you can read to your children that also have a cooking or baking component to it. You'll find it on my website and on my blog, and there's also videos that go along with it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.